President Jopati Murmu today paid tribute to the martyrs of the Jalainwala Bagh massacre, which took place on April 13, 1919. My humble tribute on behalf of the countrymen, people will always be grateful to those who sacrificed their everything, she tweeted. British troops had fired a large crowd in the Jalainwala Bagh in Punjab's Amritsar, killing hundreds of people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today virtually distributed appointment letters to 71,000 new recruits in various departments of the central government. The Prime Minister distributed the letters during the Rashtriya Rosgar Mela on the occasion of Baisakhi. He said that appointment letters were handed over to more than 22,000 teachers in Madhya Pradesh on Wednesday. Assad, son of gangster-turned-politician Atik Ahmed, wanted in Umesh Pal murder case, has been killed in an encounter with a UP Special Task Force team led by Deputy SP Navendu and Deputy SP Vimal in Jansi. Gulam, who was also wanted in the case, has also been killed. Sophisticated foreign math weapons were being recovered, UP SCF said. Congress leader Sashi Tharoor criticized Santa over the recently amended IT rules alleging that the government has given itself the right to determine what constitutes fake news. On being asked about how can one avoid fake news, Tharoor said that unfortunately the ruling party is the biggest generator of fake news. He was addressing an event organized by Karnataka Congress. Ukrainian government said that it has decided to permit international medical students, including aspirants from India, to appear for the Unified State Qualification Exam from their native country. Considering that several students were forced to leave Ukraine and are unable to return because of the current security situation, the government of Ukraine adopted a new decree the statement aids. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has the lowest declared assets among chief ministers at over rupees 15 lakh. Kerala Chief Minister Pinayari Vijayan, Haryana Chief Minister M. L. Qatar, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adiyanath, and Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwan Man each have declared assets worth Rs 1 crore. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Katriwal has assets worth Rs 3 crore. Ukraine compared Russia to the Islamic State after a purported video circulated online which showed Russian soldiers filming themselves beheading a Ukrainian prisoner of war. There's something that no one in this world can ignore, how easily this beast kill. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said reacting to the purported footage. The Kremlin described the video as awful. <laughs>